So you've caught the TNR bug and you wanna bring in a cap for sterilization surgery here at Woods. Here are some basic supplies that you're going to need to have a successful trapping event. We wanna make sure that you have a trap secured if you are going to be bringing in a feral cap, one that you can't handle. So here is a great example of a trap that you can rent here at Woods. Um, you're also going to need a cover for your trap. We recommend using things like cut up sheets, towels or fleece blankets, those work great as covers. You're also going to need a pillowcase to line the bottom of your trap. That disguises the wiring as well as the step plate and the cats I think enjoy it a little bit more. You're also gonna need a supply of some stinky food that they like. We love these squeezy pouches, any type of fishy food, fancy feast, friskies. You can also use tuna in water, sardines in water. That's my favorite, it smells the worst. Um, but it really entices the cats to go in the trap. We also recommend if you're not going to um, directly uh, put your bait on top of the pillowcase in the trap, we would prefer that you use something like a paper plate. We don't want you to use bowls because they take up a lot of room in the trap and they actually get in the way when we try to sedate the cat within the trap. So once you have all of your supplies um, gathered, we're gonna want to set the trap um, the afternoon or evening before your appointment um, to catch that cat that you wanna bring in. So if you have a back door in your trap like this one, you're going to open it and uh, bait in the back here. You're gonna put most of the food all the way in the back or on the step plate. Make sure you secure the back door completely so you don't have a cat escaping from the back. Save a little bit of the food and you're gonna to wanna to make a gravy trail. And the way we're going to open the trap is pushing this panel inward while pulling up, and then we're going to engage the step plate. So this rod here is connected to the step plate. You just take this little hook, get it set right there, um, and then walk away. Um, you can either trap with a cover on or off. I prefer to trap with a cover on. Um, once the cat goes in and hits the step plate, you'll hear a big crash. The cat is in there. Excellent, good job. Um, if you aren't using a cover on the trap, make sure once the cat is within the trap that you cover immediately. Having the cover over the trap will definitely help lower their stress as much as possible. And then you'll be bringing the cat in the following morning within the trap. We will alter it, reline the um, trap with some newspaper, you'll house it overnight, and then it can be released the following morning. Number one tip I do wanna give is do not leave a trap unattended overnight. Um, you will most likely catch a raccoon or a skunk and we don't alter those at Woods. We only alter community cats that are within traps. Um, so thank you so much for being interested in trapping a community cat. And remember, it's hip to snip.